Manx Radio Podcasts, powered by Shaw. Hello and welcome to this week's Countryside Podcast with Kiri Kermode and Simon Clark. And this week on the programme, we're looking back at a very successful 2016 annual Young Farmers concert. And we were both there uh, and fully enjoyed it, didn't we? It was spectacular. Bright lights and lots of costumes. It certainly was very pleasing. I think with the influence as well, as we'll hear as the the programme goes on, uh, a lot of people who are involved, who've got themselves into the amateur dramatics as well, uh, are having their influence on the singing side of it, the dancing side of it, the costume, the lighting as well, isn't it? It just makes it that little bit more spectacular as the evening goes on. Oh, it really was. The enthusiasm from the young people on that stage was just electrifying. It was a really, really great night. Yeah, and I'm sure when I was in it, there wasn't, as many younger <laughs> ones in it as, as there are today. It seems to be this thing where it's a great um, activity for them to be involved in, isn't it? Because it can lead to so many things. Oh, that's right. There's so many young people in it this year, more than I've ever seen. And it really is uh, getting a grip. A lot of these people aren't just necessarily from the farming community. Now there's a lot of school friends and, and other people just really want to take part in such a great movement in the young farmers. And they're all, it used to be years ago that uh, there was only certain individuals that were, were allowed to speak, really, wasn't it? Oh, no, you can, you can dance <laughs> or stand there as a tree. That's what that's used to right. happen, wasn't it? Uh, now at least they're they trying, lots of the clubs try and give uh, some of the younger ones just... An odd line or two, just to break them in gently. Oh, that's right. I can remember we were a tree for many years, but it was always the older ones taking the lead. But now there's a lot of very confident young people, and it certainly showed there on the stage. They were really fantastic. Yeah, we got to speak to all the award winners at the end, as you'll hear. And also, uh, it was nice to get in, in in the interval as well and speak to some of the judges to see uh, how they've been primed <laughs> beforehand and what they were going to expect as well. Because it's never an easy job, is it? They always say how how close the results can be. Oh, yes. Some years there's been joint uh, winners. So this year, I think it'll be very close again. The four very strong concerts put together. Well, just sit back and listen to some of the excerpts from the concerts and some of the people that we spoke to at the end. Manx Radio's Countryside is brought to you by NFU Mutual. Well, Kerry, we had front row seats uh, on Saturday night for the finale night of the annual Young Farmers concert and weren't disappointed, were we? Oh, what a spectacular. The talent, colour, costumes, oh, it's endless. Beautiful. And it's so different. We've we've both been in it ourselves, um, you more recently than I, of course. <laughs> but the, the way things have got that little bit more professional and it's fantastic to see a lot of the youngsters getting encouraged to participate in it because I suppose uh, some of the parents would be a little bit weary of letting them loose at the concert when some of the material gets spoken about, doesn't it? <laughs> well, there's many children there this year. There was over 50 or 60 young ones under the age of 18. That's incredible. Yeah, what What's your favourite part of the concerts? Uh, because each club has a different way of going about it, don't they? And they all have their, their strong points and their weaknesses and some have got really good visual things, dancers, costumes, haven't they? I do really like the dancers, but sometimes you get an odd singer and I think that really brings the house down. A real good singer is uh, electrifying in there. Yeah, well, we'll be speaking to one of the singers later on in the programme. But during the interval on the Saturday night, I sneaked in to the Matcham Suite. Yes, they did let me in. And I spoke to two of the judges on the night, Gareth Moore and Mandy Griffin. Really fantastic. Just so much energy on the stage. And just great to see so many young performers having a fantastic time and uh, singing, dancing, acting, being hilarious. Just great so far. Have you been invited uh, to the judging panel before? No, this is my first time on the judging panel. I've been an accompanist for Southern for a number of years, a little while ago now, but this is the first time on the um, adjudicating panel, so it's great. What sort of advice do you get at the start? Are you just sort of throwing it at the deep end? We get a list of things that we should look out for, but other than that, it's just what we think is... Uh, it's good on the night. Coming from the entertainment background as well, Mandy, um, there's some sort of, how do you call it, young farmer style entertainment, but there's some pretty good singing and dancing in there as well. There is some brilliant singing and dancing going on there. I'm uh, very fond memories of when I used to be in the Young Farmers concert, and my first ever appearances on the Gaiety stage were when I was in the Young Farmers concert. Yeah, even so, before uh, Guild days. Even before Guild days. So uh, it's where it all started for me. So yeah, some fantastic dancing going on, some fantastic singing going on, and just all-round entertainment. 
entertainment going on. You can't beat it, really. Two of the judges on the Saturday night, uh, Gareth Moore and Mandy Griffin, talking about their experiences so far just halfway through the show. Also there was a past winner of various prizes in the Young Farmers concert in his day, Bush Karush. I spoke to Bush to find out what his role was on the night. Yeah, judging actually tonight. One of the acts, uh, one of the clubs. Uh, Eastern president now, I'm getting old. <laughs> but it brings back lots of memories and it, does it make you want to get back on that stage? Oh, and again? Absolutely, absolutely. Just itching to get on there. But well, they've done really well. Eastern have just come off and fantastic. Have you missed any since since you've not been in them? Oh no, I've helped, helped ever since eight years since I've been not allowed to be in them, so I've helped every year. Has it changed much in them eight years? It's a bit cleaner now. It's definitely a bit cleaner. But hey, it's a family show, isn't it? And it's packed three nights in a row, so it's great, isn't it? Well, bringing a few memories back for Bush Karush there during the interval on the Saturday night tell us a little bit about his role uh, what it was on the evening as well well the main awards of the night uh, were announced late on Saturday evening and in fourth place was the Northern Young Farmers with the tale of the missing treasure chest a warm welcome aboard the steam pirate vessel Ben McCree Please pay close attention to the following safety message. In the likely event of an emergency, the captain will sound the alarm on the ship's parrot. Three or more short blasts, followed by one long blast. Passengers should quickly make their way to the nearest lifeboat, where the crew will be sat waiting. Liberal van and members are reminded to remain seated until the vessel is fully submerged underwater. Thank you and good night. Well, Sarah Coven, chairman of the Northern, uh, it wasn't to be this year, but uh, no. made, made a lot of people laugh. And yeah. the, the, the club looked as though they enjoyed it. Oh, uh, yeah, we had so much fun this year. We put so much effort in, did long hours. Just We did so much and we had so much fun. I really loved being chairman and loved putting this concert on. It was really good. But the great thing about it and the positive thing for the future, you've got a lot of youngsters that have been introduced to it now and it it takes a few years to get used to it, doesn't it? Definitely, definitely. Like We've had so many more younger members this year and it's been so good. Like I was just, I was saying to the girls, like the first year I did the choreography, we had nine people are doing the dances. Just nine? Just nine. And uh, now we are 23 doing it this year. So it shows how it's getting more and more popular. And we've had such good fun this year. It's been really good. Really and what good about uh, the, he- the help that you've had? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we could not put this concert on without our help. Like the boys doing the props and the help backstage. The help we've had has been so good. So well, grateful. Fantastic spirit. Anyway, go and join your club. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And that was Sarah Cubbin of the Northern Young Farmers the individual awards, the Kameen Cup for the best act went to the Take Me Out sketch and the Dan Como Memorial Cup for the best performance went to Sam Murray. And third place on the night was the Eastern Young Farmers Club with the Frozen Island. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain, what a horrible feeling, I'm soaking again. The NSC is closed indefinitely. Laxie is all in a fuss, cause their bridge got hit by a bus. Hey, did you hear the latest? According to a recent government survey, our Chief Minister, Alan Bell, is doing the work of two men. Two? Aye. Laurel and Ardy. Popular, you're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper ploys when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and flounce. I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. I'll help you be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start, cause you've got an awfully long way. Well, Scarlett Clegg, congratulations. You've got a horde of trophies here. Well done. Thank you. I mean, does it make up for not winning the concert overall? Yeah, I guess it does, yeah. What awards have you won tonight? Just to let us know that. Best individual performance and best overall junior performer. You had to get up there in front of everybody and start singing. Was it quite nerve-wracking? Yeah, it's really scary. <laughs> and how old are you now? I'm 13. 
Wow, and how many years uh, have you been in concert? This is my third year. Well, there's lots of individuals that are a lot older than you that, that you've beaten to these trophies tonight, so you must be extremely pleased. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Some fabulous singing in there. It's well done anyway. Thank you. Chairman of the Eastern Young Farmers then, Vicky. Well, nearly there and a fantastic show. What's the, the mood like with, the, with third place? Yeah, we think it's great. The fact that we won the best Janch Trophy and Scarlett, our younger member, won the best junior and the best overall performer was just great. We had fun doing it, so that's the main thing. What about the dancers itself? Who, who decided what dance you were going to do and what music you are going to pick? Jenny, our choreographer, chose the dancing and it took her a lot of hard work and a lot of stress, but it finally came together. <laughs> it was a really good show, though. I mean, everyone was talking, I heard them talking today uh, for the last few days and during the interval, and they were sort of saying, oh, well, there isn't much between them, so there must be them just little bits and pieces that that make the difference at the end of the day. Yeah, it must have been. Um, we thought Thursday was a bit of a... We had these big inflatable snowmen and they burst before we got on, so that all set us off a bit. But from then on, it was just great. and We managed to get them back on the stage for last night and tonight. Yeah, well done anyway. Thank you. Third place for the Eastern Young Farmers. And I was talking to their chairman, Vicky Hargreaves, and before that, Scarlett Clegg. And when you look at the awards the Eastern won on the night... The Denise Conraid Cup for Best Act was the Penguins, and also the Denise Conraid Cup for the Best Performance was from Hayley Crow. And, well, amongst that, some major awards won by the Eastern members. The Loudest Memorial Trophy for the Best Dance Routine, that was the Singing in the Rain one. And also the Isle of Man Farmers Cup for Best Individual Performer, that was Scarlett Clegg from the Eastern. And the Susan Nicholson Memorial Cup for the Best Junior Performer was also won by a very delighted Scarlett Clegg. Manx Radio's Countryside is brought to you by NFU Mutual. And here we look back at the Isle of Man Young Farmers concert of 2016. And in second place with Essential Young Farmers with 2016 Isle of Man Community Awards. Save you in the audience from going under these four mostly willing volunteers are already under the power of hypnosis. So without further ado, let's get on with our first experiment. Let's see what these four think, really think of the Isle of Man. When you wake up on the end here, you will be the governor. Lieutenant Governor Adam Wood, it is a pleasure to come to this island on a five-year holiday at your expense. The food, the accommodation in food was remarkable. Big match to the choice for the Hammertrell Islander of what is known as... Magpie. The daily rush can be avoided and take the train alluru route to what is known as... Magpie. Thought I was in the United Nations, but actually Robinson's Terrace. Magpie. All this foreign food. You should cut down on your imports, mate. Get some Max Ish. All the people, so many people, they all. Craig McGee, the chairman of the Central Young Farmers, just pipped to the post there, Craig. Yeah, pipped by the Southern Club, and fairness to them, they put on a great show. We've put on the best show we could, and unfortunately, not the best, but we've all had good fun, and you know, it is what it is. And so, yeah, you, we... You've got a great cast of a lot of younger children. It's so, so, so good to see them out there, so enthusiastic, trying their hardest. They look like they thoroughly enjoyed tonight. Yeah, great, great, really great group of junior members. All enjoy coming along and dancing, singing, getting involved in the sketches. We try to give them as much as much stage time as we can because they are so keen to get out there and, yeah, we can only give them what we've got. Well, well done anyway, Craig. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Gary. That was Craig McGee, the chairman of the Central Young Farmers. The individual Central Awards, the TH Quail Club for the Best Act, the Folk Dancers and Morris Dancers, 
and the Martin Quayle Cup for the best performance went to Kayleigh Cool. And that brought us to the Marketing Society Cup Award for the champions of the 2016 Isle of Man Young Farmers concert, and that went to the Southern Young Farmers with their show The Unelectables. Now, class, if you're going to win an election, you must be able to make people believe in you. So, if this wand is your average floating voter, and you want them to agree with your point of view, you must learn how to control them. If you want them to think one way, you can push them in that direction, or you may want to move them from one side to the other. It's vital that you keep them on your side, at least until after the election, and you'll be able to vote yourself a pay rise within the first month of office, like the last lot did. The most important thing to remember is always keep your constituents at arm's length, just in case they figure out that you don't actually know any of the answers to any of their questions. It's as simple as that. I... This college is full of these MHKs. Peter Carr was down before for some Manx lessons. He came running in and shouted to David Cretney, someone's just stole your car and sped off towards Janet's corner in it. Oh, I said, David, did you see who it was? No, said Peter, but I did get the registration number. So here we are with the chairman of Southern Young Farmers, Tom Callister. Well, what a night for you guys. I know, yeah. Can't really believe it. Bit of a shock, but just like to thank everyone that helped put the show on. Ray Crane, the producer, the props were fantastic. We had a fantastic crew uh, building them. Charlie Vernon, Carol, Sue, Helen Duggan, absolutely fantastic. Used all of her her barns up, making them and making a mess with the paint and what have you. (laughs) Bringing a bit of straw to the gaiety stage didn't do anyone any harm anyway in the end. But. Oh, certainly brought the colour to the stage anyway. What fantastic costumes. They really did stand out there tonight. And not only that, yourself, you also got best overall performer. The Scarecrow sketch with Percy Hampton. Yeah, it was good. It was uh, a lot of hard work. Practising at five o'clock in the afternoon till half seven and then heading off to normal practice. But... Richie Creer and Hampy, they were fantastic help. Helped us write it, build the prop itself. I'd like to thank Percy for covering me in the uh, the cream. It was <laughs> nice, I got it in every hole, I think. <laughs> it certainly looked really fun to watch anyway. So big celebrations tonight then, Tom. Yeah, it was going to be anyway. 70 years young, the Southern Young Farmers now. But winning's an absolute bonus. It was uh, Fantastic feeling anyway, getting read out. And also to the cast, without the cast, training, working hard, bringing it all together, it just, it happened on the night. Yeah, it all came together, it was a bit uh, bit ropey a couple of weeks before, but Rachel Kringle did an absolutely fantastic job teaching them all, all the girls, showing up every single practice, on time, putting 100% 100% in every single night. The boys put 99% in when they, when they got there, but absolutely fantastic. There was just no squabbles or nothing this year. It was a really good year. It really is a team effort at the Southern. Well done, Cheers. champions again. And that was Thomas Colster, the chairman of the Southern Young Farmers. In other awards in the Southern, the Mr and Mrs J Crebin Cup for the best act was the Scarecrow and the Crow. And the Jean Kerling Memorial Cup for the best performance went to Glen Hargraves. And also the Southern came away with the Keith Carouche Cup for the best individual act in the entire concert. And that also went to the Southern Scarecrow and the Crow. Fine night it was and everyone I think went away fairly happy, Kiri, didn't at the end of it? There was a lot of cheering on the stage, you could hardly hear yourself think at the very end. There's a lot of enthusiasm and all the long nights and the hard work they've put in, it certainly came out on the night. Well it was fairly busy backstage as always on the Saturday night and uh, we caught up with some of the people involved in putting the show on, behind the scenes and in front of the scenes as well. And uh, you caught up first with, uh, with one of them, Kiri. I caught up with John Hunter from the Isle of Man Bank. He was delighted to see so many children performing on the stage and he thoroughly enjoys it every year. What a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous evening's entertainment. Every year the standard just seems to get better. And do you know, how can the energy of all of those youngsters not transfer itself to us? Absolutely brilliant. And there's so many young people getting involved in there. There's over 200 performers. And tonight I was told by the secretary that a lot of those are under 18. It's great for the movement of young farmers. It's great for the farming industry, but also great for the island. You know, there's so much talent on show here and so many confident, bright young people. And you've been the main sponsor now for over 30 years. Yeah, it's really important. It's the Isle of Man Bank 
you know, it has a close relationship with the whole farming community. And these are our farmers of the future. Well, Ed Clegg, timekeeper. Great pleasure, simple job. We're here for three nights. Every night the show is different. Uh, it's a real honour and a privilege to do the job. I know that the, uh, the people coming to these concerts think that there isn't many rules, but, but there are time limits on it, isn't there? And we've got to adhere to them, otherwise it'll be 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning getting finished. That's right, 40 minutes per concert, penalties if you go over the 40 minutes, and the clubs are all good to keep it to that time limit. Is there a minimum time as well? No minimum, funnily enough, no, no minimum. But they want to try and cram in as much as they can, don't they? Yeah, I think they struggle to keep it under the 40 minutes. I think they've got so much talent, so many ideas that they could do, as you say, they could go on for an hour if they wanted. Angela here, Federation Secretary. Another success as things have quietened down back here. Yeah, it's been brilliant this year, Simon. Pretty nerve-wracking on the last Sunday when it was the first rehearsal for the Eastern Club. But all four clubs have worked so hard. The shows have improved dramatically since that point. Um, and an absolutely fantastic result tonight. So close, it's very, very hard to believe. But definitely a good reflection on everybody's contributions to the concert this year. Now, it's been quite hard work this year, hasn't it? Because there's been some little changes that uh, have been introduced. And there, yeah, there's a few regulations that we have to adhere to that are set down by the Department of Education, by the National Federation of Young Farmers, and it's just a case of, of us respecting other people's requirements and adhering to them as well. But it does add to um, the overall experience of organising the Young Farmers Concert is probably the polite way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fantastic seeing some of them coming away with some of the top awards this year as well. Yeah, Scarlett Clegg is an absolute credit to the Young Farmers Movement. She takes part in so many different competitions and for Scarlett to take two awards this year, I'm made up and I know her mum and dad are and a fantastic credit to the club and I just hope to see her in so many Young Farmers competitions and concerts for many years to come. So all smooth and everyone seems to be rolling away, fairly yeah, satisfied well, with this year, yeah, tired as well probably. 11 o'clock Saturday night and it all seems very, very quiet and calm, busy backstage, but yeah, really really nice atmosphere. It's been, it's been a fab concert this year, yeah, definitely, enjoyed it. Jamie Watson, Federation chairman for 2016 pleased with the way the concert's gone extremely pleased i couldn't be happier with how it all went certainly the crowd all seemed to enjoy it over all three nights i had good comments back from everyone that i've spoken to you know it's all credit to each individual club and all the effort they've put in over the past four five maybe six months uh, all the preparations that they've done uh, it really shows and yeah i couldn't be couldn't be prouder at the moment with uh, how everyone did. It's not easy to, um, I suppose, keep a bit of rick on them because there's a lot of uh, older ones mixing with the younger ones, a lot of sort of highly charged up characters, you know, with the with the sort of atmosphere of the, of the concert, isn't it? It's, I suppose it's, you've got to keep an eye on it. Oh, you certainly do, yeah. And each uh, club official, I've been doing a great job with that as well. Yeah, as Fed Chairman, you've got to keep an overriding sort of rick on it all, but... I can't fault each club, they've done a great job with all their cast, all their members, everyone seems to have enjoyed it, they've all behaved themselves as well, which is most important as well. The last thing we want to do is jeopardise anything to stop us coming back here next year. We absolutely love being here at the Gaty and the staff here are all great. Sometimes it's, it's the older ones that can cause the most trouble as well. <laughs> of course there hasn't been any trouble, but it's just that fact that you just got to keep an eye on that avenue and make sure that uh, everyone goes home happy at the end of the day, and I think they are. I hope they are, yeah. Everyone seems to be really happy. Um, doesn't really matter, I think. It's a shame that someone's got to come fourth, third, second and first. I really enjoyed all four performances. They really were fantastic, and to have it, it was such a tight result as well. It swapped and changed over all three nights, by all accounts. The crowd really seems to be really positive and I just hope that they'll all get up at silly o'clock next year to come and buy some more tickets because it's been wonderful and uh, yeah, I can't thank everyone enough for all their help. Well, Shea Mache, tidying up here quickly, I suppose getting ready for the next big thing that's going to be on at the theatre here. Yep, it's always go, Simon. Uh, we've got to Oklahoma in tomorrow, but we've had a great week with these guys. Uh, as always, they uh, put a lot of energy into it and uh, they love what they do. The more I work with them each year, it's great just to see the energy, both from uh, like all the rehearsals they do weeks before, and they come in with all the ideas, ask the questions, can they do the thing that they want to do? 
and they come back a week later with an apparatus or a dance routine or whatever and it's uh, it's great it's a long week but it's very fulfilling at the end of it so you know it's great great energy great to see people one, really enjoying themselves yeah one thing i was just going to mention that because i suppose a lot of the big societies that come in and the and the troops from a, from away that come into the army they'll come here and say right we want this and want that and the other is it quite nice that, that the young farmers will come in and, and ask your you know very experienced staff you know how they can do it <laughs> yeah well yeah I, i'd say 80 percent of the time that's true and then there's always one or two tricks that they come on they come in the night with a fire extinguisher to do some special trick because oh we forgot to tell you about this so <laughs> they do have a few things up their sleeve that they forget to tell us about but generally they they, they have the idea and they just come to us to see how we can make it work, you know, for, for, for no money at all, you know, and what, what they can make and what they can find on the farm and bring it in. So it's very enterprising what they do come up with. But all in all, um, do you get a chance to, to watch some of the, the, the clubs yourself? I watch it during the rehearsal time because that's important for me to see that they're doing things safely, that they're not falling into our into the scenery or when we bring the cloths in above their heads that the, the younger ones who've been in for the first time know what they're doing. So I make sure it's all done safely from that side of thing early in the week during the actual show nights it's easier just to keep out of the way because there's such chaos and mayhem backstage that you do end up getting caught in the wake of, of a few people running around so I, I tend to steer clear well they've been nothing but full of praise uh, for the gaiety staff as always this year so uh, uh, well done to you and your staff grand thanks Simon. there we are some of the people that have made the 2016 annual young farmers concert such a success again this year Seamus Shea from the Gaiety Theatre before that chairman of the Federation of the Alaman Young Farmers Jamie Watterson the secretary and uh, a busy woman uh, up to the lead up of it Angela Tier and also the timekeeper for the last few years Ed Clegg plus John Hunter from the Isle of Man Bank So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed our look back at this year's Young Farmers concert. I'm sure there'll be more uh, bits and pieces, stock judging and uh, public speaking and quizzes that we'll be able to uh, go and visit for the Isle of Man Young Farmers and see them perform and entertain again in the next coming months. Manx Radio's Countryside is brought to you by NFU Mutual. Well, there we are. Our look back at the 2016 annual Young Farmers concert, Kerry, and... What was your favourite moment of this year's concert? I really did enjoy the individual singing from Scarlett Clegg and Hayley Crow and her brother Neil. I thought that the singing was really lovely. Um, the dancers are always spectacular. Some of those costumes are just beautiful. And there was a lot of glitter and enthusiasm. It was a really great concert, generally. I know, and you, people won't realise, but the, the, the trials and tribulations of it were uh, what was and was and the, uh, trying to get them balloons of snowmen on the stage. Uh, I'm trying to describe it visually for you, but they were at least like massive bloony things that they were standing in and they, they never got on the first night there was some debris on the stage and bang <laughs> I mean what to come back from that it, it's tough isn't it isn't oh it really yeah. is it is literally what happens on the night they have to go with it and yeah it was it was a bit of a shame for the for the Eastern that night but when we finally seen it on the Saturday it was a spectacular sketch it was so funny it was really enjoyable Well, that's it for this week's Countryside. We'll be back uh, next week with more. Don't sit in the slow lane. Join the fast lane right now with Shaw's all-new Superfast Plus Broadband. Enjoy more bandwidth, amazing speeds and the best value on the island from just £23.95 per month. So don't be left behind. Get a piece of the high-speed action with Superfast Plus Broadband from Shaw. For details, visit our stores in Douglas, Ramsey and Port Erin or click shore.com. Love being sure. Terms and conditions apply.